My name is Leonie and I suffer from PED, post Eurovision depression. It's a serious mental issue that comes every year after the Eurovision Song Contest is over. Luckily for you, if you're suffering from PED, just like I am, I have some tips on how you can survive. Here are my five tips to saying no to PED. Number one, listen to your self-made Eurovision playlist. You're the only one, you're my only one. Every day. Forget tomorrow, we can do tonight again. In the car. You're my love, undercover. In your bed. Even in the shower. I love with a fairy tale. Number two, stalk all your Eurovision favorites. Mm hmm, give me some of that. Oh yeah, it's definitely some of that. <laughs> Ooh, she's pretty. Oh, that looks good. I like that. Definitely love that. Let's zoom in on his face. Mmm, that's right, right there. Shh. Number three, shake your head at all the Eurovision haters that still can't get over the fact that their favorite country didn't win this year. I'll give that a like. Your old song and should be disqualified. <sighs> Haters. It's about the experience, people! For shame, lunch! <sighs> Number four. Become fully immersed in planning how on earth you're going to go to Europe to experience Eurovision live next year. I'm gonna go and look at Ukraine. High degree of caution. Do not travel. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna buy tickets anyway. Kiev, yep. Let's see, May. Oh, darn it! It's too early to buy tickets! Ah, rats. <laughs> Number five. Rewatch Love Love Peace Peace because it's the best thing that's ever come out of Eurovision, doll. Those are my five tips on how to overcome post Eurovision depression. Sure, it may not look like I've actually overcome it, but the best way to do it is to just surround yourself with more Eurovision stuff and wait until next year when the cure finally arrives and you can repeat the process all over again. Tough for Martin and V says Nesta Or. See you next year.